Hey guys, last week the Oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett, was on TV with good news, saying the bank crisis is over, we're out of the woods, your money is safe, because the government will bail everything out. Well, he said backstop, because he's friends with the guys doing the bailouts. And so for the low, low price of 10 trillion in backstop, we could get a pause in bank runs, at least the big ones. Everything has been bailed out ahead of time. The bad news is that's because all that money was converted into a coordinated attack on the US dollar. How? Because that 10 trillion plus comes directly from dollar holders. Some of it from potentially forced withdrawals from your bank account, the rest of it from fresh inflation to pay for it all, meaning anybody who owns a US dollar is now at risk. The timing is not ideal, given that there's already worldwide momentum in dozens of formerly friendly countries to move off the dollar and switch either to their own currencies or to some China-led alternative. The attraction of China, by the way, is that, as Larry Summers put it, our activist-led foreign policy means, quote, China gives us an airport, America gives us a lecture. So yes, it's entirely possible that 10 trillion will end the bank runs, at least the ones that make the headlines, and all we had to do was give up the US dollar. So first, a brief review. In the old days when a bank screwed up, its assets would fall below its deposits and it was game over. It had to call the FDIC for an uncomfortable conversation and a takeover. The regular depositors, widows and orphans, they got covered by the FDIC insurance and rich people were out of luck. They should have known better. But that's all changed now. Between the FDIC expansion and the new BTFP, the Bank Term Funding Program, even if a bank is insolvent, it can just quietly go to the Fed and borrow against the original price. I've got a video talking about this, but it's basically like losing money on your stock trade and then hiding it from your wife. It doesn't fix the problem, but it certainly hides it. And it is literally hidden. We, the livestock, the taxpayers, don't even know who's getting bailed out. Now, don't get excited. All that money doesn't cover politically unpopular outfits like hedge funds or crypto who are presumably behind on their political donations, plus nobody likes them. Unfortunately, banks have human shields. Really, these days, that's what banks do best. They collect human shields for bailouts. This time, they got a very nice dividend on their human shields, hitting 10 trillion in bailout, or uh, backstop, as Warren Buffett would have it. The problem, beyond giving a green light to gambling bankers, is the way they did this one converted almost the entire amount into a direct siphon on the dollar. Because the backstop is coming from two sources, the FDIC itself and a team effort by Treasury and the Fed. Now, the FDIC doesn't have nearly enough money. It's covered at something like 1% or half a percent. So if the problems get big, they come directly to your bank account called a capital levy. They literally take it directly out of your bank account. Well, they command your bank to do it. As for the team effort, Treasury, of course, has no money. It loses more than $2 trillion a year. So all of that Treasury money is going to come directly from fresh money printings by the Fed meaning that it comes directly and silently out of every single dollar in the world. That's great if you've got gold and Bitcoin, it's bad if you own dollars. And so on top of the inflation and the debt, making the US dollar just another basket case, on top of the sanctions and the lectures that push countries into the arms of China, our ruling elite have opted to drain trillions of pre-bailout so far directly out of the dollar. It almost makes you wonder if they're doing it on purpose. All right, we'll be watching. See you next time.